Hello gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. I just died. Fastest death ever. Oh well, like I was saying, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm QB Dragon and this is the Scrap Brain Zone. The final zone of Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, not final zone, but that's spoilers, wouldn't it? Isn't it? So uh, anyway, like I said, this is the last zone in the game. It's a zone that was uh, constructed by Dr. Eggman, which is probably pretty obvious. It's a pretty mechanical stage. There are smoke tacks, bleh, smoke tacks, smoke stacks in the background, and uh, you know everything's fairly industrial and uh, looks like something, uh, you know, bad. Uh, so the stage has a big thing for traps, like you saw that fire spout I just walked into. There are these electrical traps here that uh, fire off at, I think, I think they fire off at certain times. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's, I'm fairly certain that it's timed. Not entirely sure. It doesn't matter. Moving on. They also have these uh, conveyor belts with spinning, uh, I don't know what those are. Platforms? Spinning platforms. When they're spinning, you can't touch them, or you can't stand on them. There are also those uh, disappearing blocks. Looks like someone's been taking a page out of Dr. Wily's book. Uh, we also have uh, lots of switches to hit, because, again, this is a mechanical industrial area, and there are switches that you need to press in order to proceed. There are also these slopes that contain these pig monsters. Uh, they will throw these exploding balls at you that you will damage you either on contact or when they explode. Uh, but they're pretty easy to kill. That was the end of the level. And um, something you should know about Scrap Brain Zone Act 1 and 2 <coughs> is that if you uh, manage to get 50 rings and beat the, zone, the act, you will not get a special ring. Even if you don't have any more Chaos Emeralds left to get, you will not get a special spring, special ring in act in uh, the scrap brain zone i tried this as a kid it didn't work i tried it as an adult to make sure my memories were correct and uh yeah it still didn't work so you can't once you pass starlight zone you cannot get any more chaos symbols so keep that in mind but if you're playing along with me and you didn't get all the chaos emeralds well oh well you know now sorry but so this is Act 2, we're inside now, inside Eggman's base, and as you can see there are these wheel things that you can run on, uh, the first instance of messing with gravity in Sonic. I always liked stages that messed with gravity, uh, but we'll see those later in the series. Uh, there are also these conveyor belts, and whenever there's a conveyor belt, there's always, always a trap. Sometimes there are those uh, spiked balls on chains, sometimes they are giant saw blades, but conveyor belts always mean traps. Yeah, see, look, more traps. Uh, crusher, maybe. crusher thingies. <coughs> and uh, another thing about the stage is the pipes that send you to other areas. And those are going to make uh, more major appearances later in later Sonic games. So we don't really need to focus on them now. There's a life here if you need lives. I've only got four because of that thing in Labyrinth Zone, so I should probably get that. Uh, more disappearing blocks. And here are the saw blades. Oh joy, we can be cut in half by saw blades. It's like, it's like those cartoon villains that twiddle their little mustaches. You go, I have you now, my dear. I'm going to put you on this log and the saw blades will cut you in half. Whoa, watch out for that saw blade. But so, yeah, saw blades, watch out for them. Uh, and yeah, this, this, like I said, this zone is very trap heavy. Uh, unlike before in Act 1 where you wanted to go up, here you want to go down so you can uh, progress. I don't know why it's different here. Got hit by a spike ball there. Not fun. And that was Act 2, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah. That was Act 2. Uh, and like I said, you can't get a Chaos Emerald here. So, if you have 50 rings, you're just SOL. And coming up is going to be a cutscene if I will ever get moving towards it. Here we go. Moving and... It's Dr. Eggman! He's got a switch. That doesn't look good. Nope, it's not good. Jump, jump, and... Nothing. No, there's nothing you can do about it. That's a scripted event. 
but you can move during it, which is interesting. Uh, but anyway, here we are in Scrap Brain Zone Act 3, the easiest act of the whole game. What you want to do is, out, is at the beginning, hit the switch and outrun the moving platform so that you drop down the hole. And uh, then you're going to want to continue right, avoiding every hole you see, including those little holes down in the pink water and the big hole right here, until you come to here where you can't avoid the holes anymore, so you'll want to drop down them. And there'll be a swinging ball in the chain to watch out for. There'll be more to avoid that I did not avoid. One more enemy. And then there'll be a red spring. What you want to do is jump on the red spring. And that's the end of the easiest zone in the game, Scrap Brain Zone Act 3. Now on to the hardest act in the game, which is also Scrap Brain Zone Act 3. So yes, Scrap Brain Zone Act 3 can either be the easiest act of the whole game, or the hardest, depending on whether or not you take the shortcut right there. Um, I'm going to show you both ways because I think it's important that... Well, first I want to show that there is a shortcut that you can take, but also because most people are going to take uh, the harder path, the harder difficulty path, uh, I should probably show that off so that they know what to do through that area. Uh, so what you want to do is go down here. There was a path to the left that you can take, but uh, I think it's a little longer, so I want to go through this path because, again, it's even though this is the harder path, I'm not going to make things too hard on myself. But so you go down here, and into the pink water there is a... This is, didn't come up in the shortcut, but if you uh, notice, the drowning music actually plays takes less time to start up. Like, Sonic will drown, start drowning in a shorter time in the pink water here. Pink sludge, I'm going to call it. Uh, rather... Yeah, I'm getting tongue-tied. He will drown faster in pink sludge than he will in labyrinth zone water. Uh, and the pockets of air bubbles will not give you air as often as they do in Labyrinth Zone. So, this stage is very dangerous. You'll want to grab air as often as possible because you can, uh, again, it's very easy to drown in this stage with both the reduced uh, drowning time and uh, getting air le at uh, less frequent rates. But, so, yeah, be wary of that. Um, so I guess it's uh, a little ironic that the Labyrinth Zone uh, stage design is a little more difficult than the standard Scrap Brain Zone design. You know, because obviously this is Labyrinth Zone stage design. I mean, it's got the background and everything. It's an example of how easy it is to die, die by drowning here. I told you I'd drown. Uh, but so, yes, this is a dangerous act for that. And again, I guess it's kind of ironic that Labyrinth Zone stage design is harder than... That jerk orb not killed me! Ah, I'm, I keep getting off track. Uh, so, Labyrinth Zone stage design is more difficult than Scrap Brain Zone design. Which is kind of ironic, since Labyrinth Zone comes before Scrap Brain Zone. There, I said it. Jeez. Uh, but so... I guess you could also argue that because the pink water is here, pink sludge, that that's the reason this stage is more dangerous than, Lab than uh, Labyrinth Zone, or even the other parts of Scrap Brain Zone. And if it was regular water, it wouldn't be as any more dangerous than any other Labyrinth Zone act. But, you know, I guess it's just something interesting you can think about. Uh, so, you know, just food for thought. Uh, through here, you know, where I died, you saw that rising platform right here? You want to get off it? Oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh. Interesting glitch. Okay, like I was saying, you want to get off it as uh, quick as you can, because otherwise you'll rise up into the spikes and they will actually crush you. I almost r rose up into the spikes there. That would not have been good. Fortunately, I glitched through the wall somehow. I don't know how, but you know what? I will take it, because if I don't take it, then I die. Or, you know. Uh, but so... I suppose there are a few uh, Scrap Brain Zone elements to this area, like the swinging spike ball chains. Those weren't in... Uh... Oh wait, no, yes they were in Labyrinth Zone. Huh. I guess... Yeah, I guess this really is just a rip of Scrap Brain... of a Labyrinth Zone with Scrap Brain Zone palettes. Oh well. 
But, uh, yeah, you want to get air as often as you can because of drowning. I keep stressing that, but it really is important. Uh, but we're almost at the end. Uh, just a little more ways to go. This is the last time we're going to see the pink sludge in this level. In the game, in this game, too. We might see it in later Sonic games. And massive slow down here. Even though the music was not slowed down at all. Which is really weird. I want to know what would happen if, uh, like, the music had reached its cres crescendo, but, uh, the, but the, I, but the counter, the timer was still going. I want to know what would have happened then. Would, would, like, the drowning, the blong happen? But, uh, oh well, I guess I'm rambling. That's the end of, uh, Labyrinth Zone. Join me next time where we will tackle the, f the last zone of the game. The final zone. Bye, everybody.